Hey, welcome everyone back to the channel. I'm Carlos, and in this video, we're going to finish page, uh, what did we say this was? Page 15. And as you can see, I finished my, or I fixed my camera. Yeah, this is page 15. So, um, I'm not really going to get uh, too detailed because this is the back end, I guess, of the video that we just went live with. Um, and I was having technical difficulties. Uh, my camera froze and whatever, whatever. So what we're gonna do is um, jump right into it. I'm gonna finish up drawing, uh, cleaning up actually, the page 15 of the book. And um, yeah. So, uh, let me get the music going. And after a little bit of lunch, I'm, uh, I'm feeling pretty good. And I got about an hour. I have to take my, uh, my puppy Rick, Ricky, to the vet for his wellness check. Um, trying to find what kind of music do we want to listen to? Okay, is that clickable? No. Cinematic? Probably not. I bet you that's going to be a little too crazy. Um, mm, 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 mm. I should have done this before I went live. Let's go browse. Um, let's listen to oh, R&B and Soul. Smoky, smoky. All right. Cool. All right. Uh, switch over to here. And... Uh, here we go. And if you remember, before my equipment started quitting on me, we were talking about perspective and we were talking about um, how to use this person does not exist.com to, to help us with some, uh, some character design. And uh, yeah, so uh, if you're in the chat room, I am paying attention to chat. I have it open up here. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, uh, anything like that, please reach out. And I'm going to try to um, really cruise through this one relatively quickly not for anything but I just don't want to I don't want to get I want to finish this um, this page before I go to the vet and then I'm going to try to and then I'm going to try to come back and, and draw some more I am very motivated to, for no other reason, it's just, you know, I'm very motivated to undo, undo, to finish getting this, uh, these cleanup drawings done. Um, because I still need to um, if you didn't know, all of these videos where I'm doing this this uh, kids book, all of these videos are in a playlist. And what I like to do is create um, some time lapses because I know that some of these videos, like the one that I, we just got done streaming, was about an hour and a half long. And um, I want to try to give you guys not just like the the full video but I also want to give you guys um, some time lapses so then you can see the process and then if you decide you wanted to come and take a look at the more extended version you can do that and I might I might have to erase some of those and that's fine is that another window I guess so and zoom out a little 
little bit. knucklehead kid here. Switch that to brush size so I can shrink that down and we're off. This hand, I think we just need to clean that up just a little bit. Straighten it out a little bit. When you do things like, actually that's, when you do things like, you know, draw your hand in a circle like this, it ends up looking a little bloated sometimes. And so I'm gonna try to not do that. We're gonna do that. And I'm not going to overthink it. I know kids do change their clothing, but for now, I'm just going to give him the same shirt. We're not going to overthink it. And And I don't really need to be all that. <clears throat> I don't need to be all that careful right now. Because um, again, there's going to be a final pass to all of these drawings. Right now, what I'm trying to do is just give Jack and I... Oh, and Jack is my friend that... Uh, that helped write this book, and again, you'll you'll uh, you'll meet Jack in the in the future. But uh, if you go through the playlist of this project, you'll see that he's in there. He's a great dude. Um,
Yeah, so uh, once these are done, then what's gonna happen is um, we'll sit and have a conversation about it, see what works, what doesn't work. We still need to, we still need to come up with um, how we're gonna do the, the words and such. So things might still change. That's why I, I, uh, I don't necessarily want to spend an obscene amount of time. Doing this part, you know, I want to have it somewhat finalized, somewhat finished to give us something solid to to talk about but um you know with the potential of something changing i'm not gonna i'm not gonna go i'm not gonna be too concerned with um trying to make everything look absolutely perfect Because, you know, quite honestly, we still need to talk about style, um, like final illustrative style. You know, this having this base drawing to, to build off of is perfect. But then, you know, do we want to go oil painting style, watercolor style? Do we want a comic book style? Do we want to have lines? Do we not want to have lines? Those are those are the conversations that are about to happen once we once we get a solid once we get a solid un understanding of all of the pages <clears throat> and just like before, like um, I. Uh, Um, I forgot what I was saying, but it's fine. I'll probably think about it later. We can finish that thought. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get as close to finished as possible with these drawings, with these, uh, Page layouts, I guess. Um, and then once we, oh, I think I remember what I was gonna say. Um, just like earlier, when uh, when I showed you how different pages can move in the storyboard, right? We have to keep that same flexibility, that same mentality when we're at this stage because things might change, you know? There might be a situation where we move pages around when we go to review the story again. Um, and there might even be a situation where a, a better laid out page serves the story better. So, uh, that's why I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm not, I'm not, come on, there we go. Um, I keep saying this term, but I'm not being too precious with these drawings because I know for a fact, I don't know for a fact, but I know that they might change. And I need to get back. I need to remember what my, I need to remember what my 
keyboard shortcuts are on this Cintiq. I keep thinking I'm gonna pan and then I zoom and then I think I'm zooming and I'm rotating. So we had a discussion about that in the previous stream. Oh, one of the other reasons why I wanna hurry up and, and finish this project is because there's you know a, a ton more that I have lined up. <clears throat> Some animation, some uh... okay. Then this comes down. Zoom. Okay. We might not need that guy, that person right there. So we'll take it out. These eyes are completely different. <laughs> I went round on the right eye, so let's go round on the left. Okay, let's see what else. 
save, save, save. Okay, let's go back to the brush. Brush, please, thank you. Zoom in. This messy hair, um, it's actually a lot of fun to do, but those are things that you should practice, like when you're not drawing, you should practice drawing messy hair, because it can go from bad to worse very, very quickly. So yeah, you have to practice m making a mess. <laughs> finish these guys so there we go He had a long day yesterday, and now he's going to have another long day today. And I think most, if not all of us, have had those days. Or just doesn't go your way the entire day. And that's our robot friend. He had a long day yesterday. Boop, 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 boop. And he ended it with a new friend. However, the bully is still being a jerk. All right. Oh, now that I see people starting to come in. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, Go ahead and leave them in the chat <clears throat> and I will be more than happy to talk about whatever you guys want to talk about.
right? Oh, almost done. Let's get this guy here, like that. Came in a little too tight with that line. I gotta zoom out, and make sure that's fine. Okay. Let's go
Let's go ahead and knock out this kid. This kid is reading a magazine or something. Okay. Oh yeah, this guy back here. Whoops. Um Let's see, do we, not all of them. Let's go ahead and, what I'm gonna do is do all the characters and then I'm gonna turn on that base drawing that we did for the, for the bus. And then I'm gonna fill in all the chairs, all the seats and everything. because I just think that that would be the easiest way to pull this off. Um, here, let's erase some of that. This little dude just sitting here watching and enjoying the violence. <laughs> uh, I th was this the one that I thought maybe I was talking about him earlier. I thought maybe he was enjoying it because he's finally not the one that get that's getting picked on.
those guys in. Okay. We have all of the characters basically done with the exception of that one in the back. to get a good angle so we can get this matte thing in here. To tell you the truth, I'm not convinced that we need this guy here. Well, at the same time, I think it'd be funny to actually have him there. So let's see what we can do. And to show you guys what I'm talking about, Forgot what page it was that he was on. Not that one, not that one. It was right be right about there. There it is. Um let's see. I should take all of these layers. Don't need our brush right now. Brush panel. I'm gonna take all of these and drag them into a folder and page. 15 and save and then I'm going to turn this off and that's who we're trying to draw so let's go in here yeah comes down here and let 
Let's make a seat. Okay. And with that, let's go ahead and turn that guy off. Let us hide that. That's our bus, so let's... We don't even need that, okay. So let's take this up here. And now let's finish drawing the bus. but you have to be on the correct layer. Okay. Do like this, this comes down. I think we just heard the song already. So let's go next. Turn this off and on just to make sure we're still in good shape. And I think we are. Let's put some legs down here. Right there. Right. Turn that back on. Thank you. 
<laughs> 46 minutes. Yeah, I gotta go in like 10 minutes or so. 10 to 15 minutes. So I'm just gonna crank through. And always keep in mind too, um, there's bits and pieces of kids books and just um, illustrations in general. Like sometimes your brain might wanna go literal and add a lot of different things to the scene that you're working on. And that's, that's fine. Um, but sometimes when you take the world literally, it, uh, it adds unnecessary things to your scene and it makes it just a little more um, convoluted and hard to read. So you want to find that, you want to find that nice balance between... You want to find that nice balance between, you know, um, artistic world and, and, and the reality world. And um, there we go. And uh, um, um, make sure that it stays pleasing to the eye. You don't want to add so much reality to something that it takes away from... Um, from your picture uh you know we can go in here and add a whole bunch of other things to uh to this bus but it might not it just might not add it. brush zoom it might not add um whatever you need to actually By adding more, you'd be taking away from your actual picture. I hope that makes sense. Um, lasso, but I need the polygonal lasso tool because we're going to real quick go bam, 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 and up here, boom. And I'm going to delete, deselect. And then I'm going to bring this down, not by a lot, but by enough so we can see. And then new layer, please. Thank you. Um, I'm going to switch my brush, switch, switch my brush. I'm just going to come in here and add just a little bit of color so we get some separation between our characters and the environment. And it gives us a good idea of, you know, the, the, the difference between the, the lightness of the characters and and the environment 
And again, this is this is a technique that I picked up working with storyboards and stuff. Um, is it necessary? No, definitely not. But um, if it was just me working on this picture, I probably wouldn't even do this step. This step is because I'm working with a collaborator, Jack, and um, you know, more information is better when you're working in a team. You want to make sure everyone is on the same page, <laughs> literally, as we work on a book. Um, so all of these, all of these extra little steps. Number one for me, um, it gives me practice. It gives me practice for when I'm doing either a book or storyboards or whatever the case may be. And so I, I just do it. And then that way, you know, I, I think, I think that this is the happy medium between doing a little too much and a little too little. Um, because I want, I want the, I want to show again, I want to show the separation between the environment and the characters and yeah I'm, I'm not being I'm not being overly careful I don't want to make it look sloppy because sloppiness will take away from your presentation but I'm definitely just gonna be I'm just putting this stuff in here just to just to have little separation to show what I'm thinking to show what I'm thinking and then up here I'm going to turn the opacity down quite a bit. Will you please work? There we go. And I am not afraid to yell at my equipment. I'm getting tired of this stuff, thinking that it can do whatever the hell it wants to. I got work to do. Something as simple as I'm just trying to change the opacity of this brush and it wants to catch an attitude that's not allowed. separate some of these let's go back up to who knows and again this is just you know it might be a little a little much for our needs And again, this is not the final look. This is just preparing these pages for a solid review. This knucklehead in the back. <laughs> He's still cracking me up. All right. So I'm going to take that. Way 
down because now we're gonna just color in the walls here. Not half bad, if I do say so myself. So there we go. And I'm going to go ahead and hit pause on the music. So then that way we can hit F. I'm going to hit R to reset view. I'm going to hit F again. I'm going to make my face disappear for a second. And this is what we have. This is our school bus going in. Uh, I could go in there and like color all of the all of this part here, but I'm gonna leave that alone for now. I think we're good. Um, yeah, I'm I'm pretty happy with this one. So what I'm gonna do is. Let's go here. What I'm going to do is I have to take my dog to the vet. So I'm going to do that. But then I'll be back. And then we're going to take a look at um, the next scene, which is... Let me go ahead and open up. I'm going to switch over here. Open recent boards. The next one that we're going to do is this one. We should be able to crank this one out pretty quick, too. And this is going to be good, too, because we get to have another conversation about um, vanishing points and what happens when we move the vanishing point up and down. So this one, we're definitely going to, the vanishing point and the horizon are going to be very close together. And then we have a nice extreme close up of our robot and the monster in the back being like, bro, what the hell? Um, and the bully over here and blah, 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 blah. So that's going to be the next page that we work on. So if you're available, um, give me probably about, I would say probably an hour and a half to possibly two hours, maybe. Um, and then I'll jump back on and then we'll work on this page. And if you have any questions, comments, whatever, you know, the chat is open. So feel free to, um, to interact with me. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm just checking to make sure that no one is writing anything. So yeah, um, page 15, the rough or the sketch for page 15 is done. And in that one, we talked about perspective and single point versus two point perspective. And we talked about what are the other things that we talked about? Oh, using, um, using this person does not exist.com to come up with uh, ideas for different characters and stuff like that. So um, if you like this type of content, give this video a thumbs up. And if you know anyone else that wants to get into illustration, animation, movie making, graphic design, send this video on over to them. And if you haven't yet hit that subscribe button and click the little bell, uh, the little bell button right next to the subscribe button. So every time I come out with something new, you'll be alerted and uh, you'll be able to follow me as I progress through this book. Ah, and with that, I hope this video finds you healthy and I hope this video finds you safe. I'll see you in the next video, which is probably going to be the next couple hours. So there. All right, guys. See you soon.